Hey guys, welcome back to the Cobb Bar Dominium. And um, we're going to look at <clears throat> two uh, plastering methods that I, I really like. Y if y'all saw the video the other day, um, there were a bunch of different types of plaster and paints and whatnot on the wall. And I was covering up, you know, 10 other different projects in that corner um, that I had previously attempted. So let's look at the two today. Uh, I won't go over all the ones we did before, but there was like, I mean, I actually did a sand plaster with our clay. I made a shellac paint out of sifted clay from my property. It's not really the clay that I use to build the build, build the building. It's the runoff from my clay piles it has a super fine silt. Uh, not really silt, but you can imagine. Um, we are looking at though, just that clay hydrated, you know, with water enough to make a nice creamy plaster. And we will look at a way I pigmented my own clay to make a paint basically out of it, a clay paint. Um, I, it didn't work out perfect, but we'll, we'll talk about it. And no matter what shellac is what I'm doing, I'm gonna put a layer of shellac on these things. And I know that's controversial. It may not work out, but you know, if the first third of the, of an inch of this side of the wall sloughs off, I'm going to show you, you'll know, you'll be like, Oh, we told you so you shouldn't have done that. Um, but that's okay, right? I mean, I don't think it's going to cause any structural damage. I'm not doing it to the whole house, and I'm not doing it to both sides of the wall at this point either. And if I do do that, I'm going to make a really, really cool system to where I think it'll help vent off humidity anyway. So, let's look at it. There it is. That is its un -shellacked version um there's a lot of color variation but that's water <laughs> so i i surface troweled it in an attempt to hide my sins and uh so there you can see um all of this stuff right here is is plastered over another system i tried um you know there's some pocketing down here because I, I didn't make a lot of plaster at any one given time i was using this bucket here it's kind of like a bathroom trash can size thing and uh so you can see right like this uh oh god this section that's about as as much plasters in that thing <laughs> so uh and i and i needed to know what the intersection looks like can i actually have clay that comes out close enough to the same color to where it doesn't look terrible and uh the finished product i would say with the shellac is this right here and we love this um once again right here you can see this is about as much plaster as that little bucket will have uh, we're gonna do five gallon buckets and stuff if we ever apply this to a wall um, and this is the division. It gets really dark when you smear it out against the last layer. And mind you that this layer had shellac on it when I plastered up into it. So that's, that's shellac underneath, that's clay, and then clay, shell, I mean shellac on top of that clay. And, and, and it works really well. I know everybody's been kind of asking me questions about that. This color variation you see here is the difference between brushing my three inch brush with, and when I say shellac, let's just show the product. I don't make my own shellac yet, but I might one day. <clears throat> this is $46 uh, per gallon at Home Depot. And I use just the world's cheapest three inch brush. Um, so when I go vertically, and I can't necessarily tell you why, um, I get these really, really crazy seams that show up because obviously the brush has to go over each other. But same brush, same technique. Uh, when I'm going horizontally, we get this little windswept thing, but you don't get these crazy in things here. And I really can't tell you why. Uh, I, up here on the top, I used a completely different uh, thing on the right. Then this is still the vertical. I did the the X's, you know, the Bob Ross X's. 
Um, and that works pretty well, but uh, uh, it does hide <coughs> your your strokes more. Um, but we actually like this one here. Um, you know, this kind of looks like an old leather. That's, that's what the color is for me that I'm seeing it. Um, so we're gonna go with this. We're gonna make more of this. And I don't know, it's, uh, you know, it's gonna at least be for one whole wall of the exterior of my house, um, a, a heavily used wall. Uh, the other one I wanna talk about is this. Um, this is an imperfect version of what we will use. Uh, you cannot see what color it is. It probably looks white. It's kind of a nice lavender. Um, and when the shellac goes onto it, because obviously that's my intention, is uh, it gets a little bit darker. Right now, you can see it, it rubs off terribly, and, and the reason is, let's go take a look. Um, this stuff right here, so I, obviously that's a pigmented clay. That is sifted clay from my property. Um, and I add this stuff to brighten up my clay plasters and stuff like that. But, oh, God, it works too well. Right, it, it would take... I mean, if you add enough, um, you could turn brown or black clay into a lighter color with this. Um, so... It's, it's too intense, and that's what's causing the flaking off. Um, I, I, I added too much. This is what give it the purple hue, though. Um, so what I, what I want to do is find find a better ratio of that stuff. Use that same... Um, oh, I don't have any sifted stuff, but right... This is what it comes from. Right? It's just something like that. It's kind of tan. Um, once it's all broken up, <clears throat> and it's... Well, it's either when it's broken up and I have the powder or out in the the field where my clay piles are, uh, it has kind of an iridescence to it. Um, it is very darker, it is much darker in the shade, and when the sun is on it, it's hyper white. Um, so that is actually what initially drew me to it. I was pretty sure it had some kind of sand or some kind of mineral component that would probably not crack with that clay. So um, we'll show you all where that is and I'll show you all how I intend on lightening that up to make that lavender later. But uh, I hope you all liked it. Um, I really love this method, at least to do part of your walls, your kitchen backsplashes and stuff like that. So uh, keep up for more and uh, we'll see you all soon. Thanks.